Hey guys, what's up? Here am I again, Denilson, with another English na ponta da língua tip. And yes, on this video, I am also going to speak only in English, uh, so that you can have the opportunity to practice your listening skills. And I see that you like when I make videos here speaking English, don't you? You like it, right? So, I know you do. Well, uh, on this video here, I am going to teach you how to say ficar sem graça in English. It's a very short video, it's a very quick tip, and uh, to do that, I'm gonna tell you a short story. It's a real story, it's a real thing that happened to me when I was teaching a group of learners, okay? So there we go. I was in, the, in this room, there were about 10 students in, the, in this room, uh, and they were having one of those conversation activities, okay? And uh, I was walking around the room, and when I heard, I listened to one of the girls saying this sentence, uh, when my mom told me to be quiet, I stayed without grace. And I'm not lying to you. She really said that. She really said she really translated word for word the expression eu fiquei sem graça. So and she translated like I stayed without grace. And why she did that? Because we learn words in English, we learn the vocabulary, we learn the grammar, and when we want, we are speaking, we have the how can I I don't know how to put that, but we kind of uh, may get the words the way that we say in Portuguese and put them into English and then we use the English grammar and think that we are, we are speaking English. We all do that, okay, when we are uh, beginners. So this is a very common thing and my learner she said this, I stayed without grace. Yeah, I then at the end of the activity I corrected them with a couple of things, I taught them other, other uh, expressions, and one of the expressions I taught them was how to say ficar sem graça in English, because of course you don't say uh, I stayed without grace or stay without grace, no, you don't say that. What you say in English is get embarrassed, get embarrassed, and pay attention to the pronunciation of this embarrassed. Okay, at the end we have the ed, right? But it sounds like a t, 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 like t, t. So not like that, but a kind of t. So you pronounce embarrassed, embarrassed. I got embarrassed. Eu fiquei sem graça. I got embarrassed. So the sentence that my learner, this girl, was trying to say uh, in English should be. When my mother told me to be quiet, I got embarrassed. Quando a minha mãe falou para eu ficar quieta, eu fiquei sem graça. If she wanted to put some emphasis in there, all she had to do was to use the word really. When my mom told me to be quiet, I got really embarrassed. So you can say, get really embarrassed, ficar muito sem graça. Another example here for you. Uh, I got really embarrassed when I saw the picture. I got really embarrassed when I saw the picture. Eu fiquei muito sem graça quando eu vi a foto. Okay? Uh, yeah, you can also say in English, be embarrassed. I am embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Uh, he is embarrassed. She is embarrassed. So you can say that and then you can translate like, estar sem graça, or even ficar sem graça, but usually people say get embarrassed, got embarrassed, okay? This was the tip that I had here today. If you like the tip, please hit the, the like button in there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do, because I have a lot of other things to teach you here on our channel Inglês na Ponta da Língua. And don't forget to click on this little bell so that you get notified every time I teach a new expression or have a, some kind of conversation with you here, okay? And please, your comments are always welcome, so leave a couple of words down there so that we can keep chatting and, of course, learning English and practicing much more, okay, guys? Well, thanks a lot for watching, take care and keep learning!